is Tani and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing really fantastic today thus far and so we're going to be taking a look at what is happening across the North Atlantic. So this morning we can see that frontal system out there and it actually extends into parts of the Northwestern Caribbean but as we can see it's not producing very significant activity right now. And then uh, there are other low pressure systems out there and we can see some thunderstorm activity along the intertropical convergence zone as well. As we zoom into the Caribbean, there are a few clouds moving by, some of which are in association with uh, the aforementioned cold front in parts of Cuba and uh, even seeing some activity towards parts of Central America as well. And also a few cloud clusters moving into sections of the Lesser Antilles. And uh, looking at the radar here for parts of the Southeast Caribbean, there we can see some of those blue and those green shadings indicating some uh, rainfall activity moving by. So parts of the Grenadines, uh, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, and even Martinique at times may experience showers in some areas. And uh, that's likely to be the story as uh, for the most part as we head through today. Here we can see what Euro is forecasting. So. Uh, for most of the Caribbean islands, there may be some passing showers at times, but for others, it's likely to be a pretty dry and sunny day, especially areas such as the ABC islands and even parts of Venezuela and the Guyanas as well. Uh, but things will be a little bit more active in Colombia and parts of Central America, Panama, Costa Rica, and even going further up north to the vicinity of Mexico with that front moving by, uh, there's likely to be some additional rainfall there are even some heavy downpours at times. As it relates to the winds, winds have been kicking up in parts of the Southern Caribbean and uh, the Gulf as well in the Bahamas, as we can see those darker shades of purples and those blues popping up as well. But as we're going to be heading into later this evening, uh, there we can see that it gets a little bit windier across the region on a whole. Most of the Bahamas, even going toward the Turks and Caicos Islands, Cuba, and in the South Caribbean, we definitely see those winds kicking up. Now, the current cold front is unlikely to bring uh, any more substantial impacts, especially on a wide scale across the Caribbean. And so, uh, overall, we're going to be seeing a decline in all of this activity with these fronts moving through. So... It is typically in the late uh, autumn and winter and even going to early spring when cold fronts affect the Caribbean. But as we head into summer, the region isn't uh, under the influence of such activity. So what causes cold fronts is the great contrasts in uh, temperature as well as density of different air masses because there's cold, dense air coming from uh, Canada and then warm, moist, tropical air which is not so dense. Now when they meet as that cold air makes its way down, uh, advancing into where warm air is, the warm air cannot mix with the cold air because they have different densities and as a result the warm air because it is less dense it's lighter it is forced to rise above the cold air and when that happens it eventually encounters cooler environmental conditions further up as it travels in the atmosphere and with that there's cloud formation there's a lot of convection going on and that is how uh, there's all that rainfall activity thunderstorms happening along that frontal boundary which is where the warm and the cool air meet and uh, even with the aid of el nino this year that has allowed for more significant cold fronts to affect the caribbean especially in december january and february but uh, since then there hasn't been any significant cold front or a significant temperature dip i mean it's not very warm because we're in we're still in winter we go in spring later this month uh usually there are these temperature dips as these fronts move by but we're gonna we're having less of that happening already and it will only continue to decrease but eventually we're going to be heading into summer and the tropical waves are going to be rolling in and that is a, a one of the main sources of rainfall activity as we head into the summer months but uh, with the decrease in cold fronts across the caribbean and a more stable environment uh, what we can find is that droughts are going to be exacerbated especially for areas such as trinidad and tobacco for example so the decrease in rainfall activity impacts the various water sources because we need water every single day to carry out different activities so with less rainfall that is going to impact the water supply that's already happening in some areas 
but the rainy season is eventually going to be kicking in as we head into uh, late April into May and June as well. And of course, guys, I'll be keeping you posted on all that is happening across the tropics. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. I really do hope you found it to be quite informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weather wise.